This class will offer a few more advanced options, such as a tripod headstand. Remember to listen to your body more than your yoga teacher. And if something doesn't feel good or isn't within your practice, you don't have to do it. Just remember to have a bit of fun and flow in a playful way. Today we're going to flow in a heart opening way and make things a little playful. So, to do yoga, all you need is a body, a mat if you have one, but don't worry if you don't, potentially a blanket to cushion your knee in a low lunge, and a block. And if you don't have a block, find something sturdy at home that can work as a substitute, like an old shoe box or a sturdy book or something like that. Maybe a plastic container. So, if you're ready, we're going to actually start lying down in your shavasana. So get comfortable in a way where you can straighten the legs, palms face straight up. Take a deep breath, feel the chest rise up on the inhale. Exhale, let your hips sink into the ground. One more time, deep breath, fill your chest, feel it rise to the sky. Exhale, let everything sink down into the ground. Now bend your knees, allow your knees to touch soles of your feet as wide as your mat, and start to rock your knees side to side, windscreen wiping the legs. As they rock side to side, encourage your sacrum to travel forward to the top of the mat, elongating the spine. Exhale, hug everything in, give yourself a nice squeeze, really, really tight knees to chest. Now keeping the knees where they are, Lower your arms down to the ground. Inhale, bring your right shoulder blade off the ground. Reach the arm back to the room. Exhale, lower. Inhale, left arm back. Exhale, lower. Inhale, both arms, both shoulder blades lift. Exhale, pull it to the ground. Your next inhale, bring the arms back by your side. Straighten the legs, heels to the ceiling, legs up the wall pose. It's okay if your legs aren't straight right away. They'll get there as they start to warm up. Just make sure that your core is engaged, engaged, belly pulling in towards the ground. On your next inhale, straighten the right leg towards the ground. Come to just an angle above the floor. Point the toes. You got this. Flex the toes. One more time. Point the toes. And then inhale, bring it back up to the steps. On your next exhale, lower the left foot towards the ground. Keep it at a hover. Point the toes, you've got this, you're stronger than you think. Inhale, flex. One more time. And then bring it all back up. Try and make this movement a little bit playful. Imagine you're a synchronized swimmer. So if you're still with me, maybe you lower both legs towards the ground. Keep the tummy pulling in. Point the toes. Point the toes dance. Flex the feet. One more time. Point the toes. And then inhale, bring it back up. Nice job. Start to rock side to side, have a little bit of a playful movement. And allow the feet to meet the ground, heels towards the bum as close as you can get. It's almost as if your toes, um, the fingers can touch the top of your back heel. Your next inhale, bring your arms up behind you, send the hips to the ceiling. A delicate, not full extreme bridge pose. Exhale, bring the arms back down. Inhale, push the heels into the ground, raise the hips, bring the arms behind the head. Exhale, lower it down. One more time. Inhale, maybe lift a little higher, send the hips towards the ceiling, gaze towards the sky. Exhale, lower it down. Have the knees back in towards the chest and start to rock forward and back. And have a little bit of a play with the movement. Rather than treating this as a transition, have it as a pose itself. So rocking forward and back. One more time, really feeling the back of the um, vertebrae with the ground. Cross the legs, roll up, down and off in a tabletop position. So here your wrist creases are parallel to the top of the mat, knees underneath the hips. Inhale, drop the belly, cow pose. Nice, sad to the belly. Exhale, tuck the tummy in, pop. A few more times. So inhale, pull your collarbones wide, open up the heart. Exhale, push the earth away, tuck everything in. A few more times here, back to breath to movement. Trying to really dump up through the back of the body on the exhale. Inhale, 
abs come really kind of feel that extension to the spine. Nice job. It's taking a few more movements, maybe you roll over your wrist, drawing circles above, maybe changing direction. Really listening to your body more than your yoga teacher here. Something feels good, do it. And if it hurts, don't. By finding stillness, start to straighten with the left leg behind you, ground down with the left foot, maybe kick stand the right lower leg below you. Left hand to heart center, elbow towards the ceiling, extend the arm to the sky, and modify Vashasasa and modify side plank. Inhale, straighten the left arm towards the top of the mat. Maybe stay here, maybe you raise the left leg with it. Toes are flexed, pointing straight in front of you. So your knee and your toes are in line. One more inhale, reaches forward and back. Exhale, elbow to knee, tuck it in. Inhale, reaches forward and back. You got this. Exhale, elbows and really pull it in tight. One more time. Inhale, reach, 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 reach. Exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, reaches. Exhale, bend, pull it to life. Sweep the left arm behind you. Catch the foot in the hand. If you make that connection, use that connection to open up through the chest. Gaze towards the ceiling, keeping the right arm straight, pushing into the ground. One more breath here. Exhale, release the leg, release the foot. Come back to tabletop. Walk the hands forward, coming to animal toss and up puppy pose. So knees are directly underneath hips. Arms are straight in front of you. Heart is falling forward towards the ground. Opening up through the back of the shoulder blades. One more deep breath here. And then on your next inhale, rise back up to your tabletop position. Right arm goes straight to the sky. Exhale, thread the needle, guiding the right arm underneath the left. Allowing the side of the head to meet the earth, knees still directly underneath the hips, tense onto the left fingertips. Walk the fingertips forward to the top of the mat. Take this pose out of the neck and into the back of the arm. Push the back of the arm into the ground. And have a little bit of play here. Don't take yourself too seriously. Maybe inhale, lift the left arm to the sky. See if you can find and reach for your right hip behind your back. Maybe you sit here. Maybe you come onto the toes of the left foot, straighten the left leg. Now keep the hips square, parallel to the mat, equal weight through both sides of the body. Maybe you sit here. Maybe you straighten that leg, lift it to the sky. Allowing your left heel to push towards the ceiling, pushing the right arm into the ground for stability. One more breath. Inhale, lift a little higher. If you're wobbling, if you're falling at home, it's a good thing. Welcome to wobble. Exhale, lower the knee. Return the left hand to the mat. Inhale, reach up high to the sky. Exhale, tabletop position. Take a few flat cows. Recenter, refine your balance. Deepen your breath as you do so. Encourage your breath to create the movement. Coming back to stillness, kick stand out the left foot ever so slightly, ground down the sole of the foot onto the right foot, sole of the right foot to the back of the mat. Inhale, right hand to heart center, elbow to ceiling, then extend, reach for the sides. Now try and keep your hips stacked on top of one another here. Maybe reach that right arm towards the top of the mat. Maybe you sit here, maybe you lift that right leg. Now a straight line from your right heel to your right fingertips. Inhale, reach further. Exhale, elbow to knee, tuck it in. Inhale, reach forward and back. Exhale, tuck it in like half pinnacle. Inhale, reaches. Exhale, tuck it in. Inhale, reach, reach, reach farther than you did before. Exhale, bend the lift of the leg, catch the foot in the hand, make a connection, take the foot into the palm of the hand. To the sky. One breath here, open up a little wider. Exhale without the meringue. Gently release the leg. Return the hands to the mat. Keeping the knees underneath the hips, walk the hands forward into puppy pose. Drawing the head to meet the mat. Forearms touch the earth. Allow the back of the body to relax. And your heart fall forward to the top of the ribcage. 
On your next inhale, return to that neutral spine in your tabletop position. So back is strong, core engaged, nice flat back. Inhale, left arm reaches to the side. Exhale, thread the needle, guiding the back of the left arm to the ground. Right elbow comes to a 90 degree bend. Now you tent onto your right fingertips, walk them to the top of the mat, keeping the hips square where they are. Maybe raise that right arm to the side, bend the elbow, capture the left hip in the hand. Now maybe you stay here, maybe you straighten the right leg onto the right toes. Keeping the core engaged, hips square and equal to the ground. Maybe you send that right heel towards the sky. If you wobble, it's a good thing. Laugh at yourself as you fall over a little bit. Don't take yourself too seriously. Exhale, return the knee to the mat. Plant the right hand by the face. Inhale, unfurl the knee, left arm high to the sky. Exhale, tabletop. Take a few more cat cows here, opening up through the back of the body, front of the body, deepening the breath. Now, coming to your tabletop, returning to neutral spine, tuck the back toes. Lift just an inch off the ground, these toes. Keeping that core engaged, pushing the earth away through the palms of the hands, slight dome up between the shoulder blades. Gaze directly between your hands, back of the neck is straight and strong. Core pulling in, doubt your doubts, you got this. Your next exhale, send the hips high to the sky, down and facing dog. Now pedal out your dog here a little bit, maybe walk your hands further forward to the top of the mat, bending through one knee, then the other. See how you can push the earth away, spread the fingers wide through your hands. Take some space between your ears and your biceps by externally rotating the biceps. Strike for a straight flat back, having the knees bent as much as you need to keep this. Knowing there's no difference between knees bent and straight legs as long as the back is straight. So stride for this pose. I'm going to take a few beautiful moments just to waken up the body a little bit more. And to have a little play. So in your next inhale, shift the weight forward, fly your knees to hover to the beast pose. Exhale. Heels and hips are thumb towards the heels. Inhale high. Back to yourself. You go to. Then reach it forward. Cover the knees. Exhale. Hips to come back to the sky. And the time. Inhale. Shift the weight forward. Allow the knees to hover. Exhale. Thumb to heels. Thumb to sky. Beautiful dogs. Pedaling out your dog. Can maybe waggle your tail. Be a happy little dog. Look between your toes, start to tip top to the top of the mat. Coming into Uttanasana, standing forward fold. So allow your head to grow heavy here. Take all the tension out the back of the neck. Having no lift here through the back of the body. Let gravity do the work in this pose. As the gravity pulls your head down towards the mat, opening up space through the back of the body. We spend so much of our day upright, so much of our day fighting gravity the opposite way, being actively pushing towards things, against things. But this sort of inversion can be a really restorative open space. Let it become such. And your next inhale slowly start to rise up to a standing position, stack the vertebrae on top of the vertebrae. That is the last thing to rise. Tuck the shoulders up towards the ear, open up the chest, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. So staying here at the top of the mat, I'm just going to turn to face you for a moment and wipe the sweat off my eyes. This is hot. So in your Tadasana Pose, palms face forward, shoulder blades pull back behind the ribcage to open up the heart. Maybe you shut down your eyes here. To bring your focus internal. Noticing how your weight is spread equally between all four corners of your feet. Hips pulling in underneath you. Tummy engaged, pulling in. So it's almost like your navel, your belly button, is trying to travel up inside your ribcage. Your next inhale, sweep your arms up high to the sky. 
Grabbing onto the right wrist, open up to the side of the rim. Keep your weight equal to both feet. Gaze to the ceiling. Maybe you open your eyes now. Feeling that stretch through the right side of the body. Inhale, center. Grabbing onto the left wrist, pull that wrist to the side of the rim. Gaze to the ceiling. Keeping your hips square to the front. Inhale, return to center. Now still facing the top of the mat, exhale, keep that straight flat back, full forward. Inhale, fingers to shin with a straight flat back, exhale, plant the hands, step back, right foot and left into your high plank. So really pushing the ground away, jumping up between the shoulder blades, heels pulling back towards the back of the room. Straight line from the heels all the way to the crown of your head as you gaze at the top of the mat, exhale, lower the knees, untuck the toes. Keeping a straight line from the knees to the top of the head, exhale, lower down all the way to the ground, elbows brushed by the ribcage. Inhale, cobra pose, lift the heart, little to no weight in the hands. Exhale, lower down, tuck the toes, return to your downward facing dog. So a few more salutations here. We're cuddling out your dog, finding your center. Exhale, lift between the hands, step it forward, Uttanasana, standing forward. Inhale, sweep the arms around you, reach up high to Dawson and standing pose. Allow the hands to return by the side. Next, inhale, reaches up, grabbing onto the right wrist, pulls to the side, gaze to ceiling. Inhale, center. Opposite side, open up. Inhale, return to center. Next, inhale, reaches up high. Exhale, hinge at the hips, cascade forward. Inhale, halfway lift, fingers to shins. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, left foot, then right, high plank. Option to lower to the knees as we did before. Or lower down halfway, elbows in by the ribcage. Untuck the toes, pull up, upward facing dog. So making sure that your thighs are not touching the ground, heart is pulling forward, opening up between the shoulder blades. Tops of the feet are pushing down into the mat. Exhale, roll over the toes. Send the hips high, downward facing dog. One more time, match your breath to movement. Inhale, lift between the hands. Pop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it forward. Pull your forehead towards your shins. Inhale, expand in all directions as you rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reaches up. Exhale, grab onto the right wrist. Pull to the side. Inhale, center. Exhale, open up to the opposite side. Inhale, reach as high as you can. Exhale, sweep it forward, hinge at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, either step it back or pop if you pop to the step with bent elbows. Into your chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, return to downward facing dog. Warming up now, yeah. So again, have a little bit of play, shift the hips from side to side. Notice how the body is starting to change, how it feels good. Maybe come to the tops of the toes, send the heels back to the ground. Or you can find some stillness. And inhale, look between the hands, step or hop to the top of the mat. Hanging out here, let the head grow heavy. Take a few deep, calming breaths before we rise and back up to mountain pose, hands in heart center this time. So really pulling the hips in underneath you, straightening the back as high as you can. Inhale, squeeze it up. Exhale, bow it forward, hinge the hips. On your next inhale, sweep your right leg high to the sky, coming to standing splits at the top of the mat. So really keeping that back foot flexed, heel towards the sky, hips square to the top of the mat. As you next exhale, slowly lower down, bring that back right foot towards the back of the mat, lower down to the knee, untuck the toes, inhale, rise up to your low lunge. So maybe you stay here, if this is a bit tense in your knee, you can take that blanket and put it underneath the right knee. Otherwise, you're staying here, relaxing the shoulders, pulling the hips in underneath you, Striving for the 90 degree angle through both knees. One more inhale here, gaze to the ceiling. 
Exhale, return the hands to the mat. Step it back. Take a vinyasa, chaturanga. Knees down, knees up, doesn't matter. Returning to downward facing dog. Nice job. Pedaling out the dog. One deep breath here. Exhale, look between the hands. Step to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it forward. Fingers to the mat. Inhale, raise your left leg high to the sky. Keeping your foot flexed here. Hips equal so they're parallel to the top of the mat. See if you can lift that left leg a little higher. Engage the glutes. Exhale, bend through the right knee. Allow the back foot to meet the back of the mat. Lower down to the knees. Untuck the toes. Rise up to your low lunge. Beautiful job here. Take a few breaths here. Really pushing that front right heel into the mat. Like your legs are trying to scissor up in towards one another. Chase the experience. Not the perfect pose here. It's more about what you feel than what you look like. Inhale here, exhale, hands to mat, step it back, high to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Then you can stay in your dog here, you can bend your knees to the mat, take a child's pose. Pause to wipe the sweat off the face, especially if you're in India. Wherever you are, you're turning back to your downward facing. Next, inhale, right leg goes high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through. So you can lower back down to the back knee, or you can keep it straight, rising up to your high or low lunge. Inhale here, relax the shoulders, send the back heel towards the back of the rim. On your next inhale, open up to a twist to the right side of the rim. So your right arm reaches to the back, left arm reaches to the front. Sit a little bit lower, engage the core. Got this beautiful twist. Inhale, left leg goes or left arm goes high. Slow for warrior, reach up, little to no weight in the back, right hand as it touches the back left leg. One more breath here. Exhale, cartwheel the hands towards the mat. Maybe you stay here, maybe you reach the right arm towards the sky. Reach, reach, reach. Your both side angle. Plant the hands, step it back, high to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, roll over the toes. Downward facing dog. Warming up the flow. Nice job. See how you can make these movements fluid and playful. Rather than making it about work, make it about fun, exploring what your body is capable of. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, tuck it in. Going down the knee or keeping the back leg straight, rise up to your high lunge. So sitting a little lower, keeping that right or left knee directly above the left ankle. Relax the shoulders. Maybe stay here. Maybe you go for the twist, opening up to the left side of the room. Right arm pulls forward, left arm pulls back. Sit a little bit lower, engage the core. You got it. Maybe you stay here, maybe you flip the right arm, exalt the warrior, reach up as the left fingertips try and travel and touch the back of the uh, back side. Reach a little bit higher, stretch through the front of the body, exhale, return the hands to the mat. Maybe you stay here, maybe you reach that left arm high to the sky, exalt for both side angles, pull the tummy in as you do so, exhale, plant the hands, step it back. Take a chaturanga vinyasa, or meet us in downward facing dog. I'll take a few deep breaths here, take any movements you need, maybe stay in a downward dog, maybe you take a child's pose, maybe you take a recovery. Whew. Wherever you need to be. Whew. Deep breaths here. Maybe you shut down the eyes. You center, find your breath, inhale, right leg goes high, exhale, knee to nose, step it through, inhale, come onto fingers, this time rise up to your standing um, split, so left leg is going high to the ceiling, core is engaged, hips square to the mat, maybe stay here, 
Maybe you allow the right hand to meet the back of the right ankle. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you allow the left hand to reach. Working with your balance, find the jersey point, a place to fix your gaze. Sorry, throwing an ant off the mat. So one more deep breath here. Exhale, return the back of the leg, the back of the mat, rise up on the inhale, high lunge. Exhale, revolve, reach to the back of the room. Inhale, exult, reach up high. Now opening up to warrior two, allow the left arm to reach to the back, right arm reaches forward, right knee is bent, core engaged, hips pulling in underneath the body. Maybe you stay here, maybe you interlace the fingers behind you, open up the chest, gaze to the top of the room, keeping the legs exactly where they are, start to hinge up the hips, come into a humble warrior, so allowing your Right arm to reach just inside of your right knee, but keeping the bind through the back of the body, opening up through the chest, gaze to the top of the bum and mat, allow your head to hang, take all the tension out of the back of the neck, keeping your hips in line though, directly between the front foot and the back foot, one more breath here, exhale, release the hands, Walk to the side of the mat, coming into a wide-legged forward fold. So both of the toes point to the left side of the room. Exhale, the heart to grow heavy. Fold it forward. So maybe you don't go very deep here. Maybe this is your mat. That's completely fine. Maybe you're allowed to fall all the way forward. Maybe you keep your hands underneath you. If you're super bendy, maybe you walk your hands behind your hips. Back of the mat, wherever you are, take a few more deep breaths here before bringing your hands to your hips, elbows pull back towards one another, inhale, rise back up. Nice job. Now bend to the right leg, come back to a warrior two position, arms reach out and forward. Exhale, right elbow to right knee, inhale, sweep the left arm far and wide. So creating that stretch to the left side of the body. Your sort of side angle here, transitioning to Ardha Chandrasana half moon. So left hand to left hip. Now is the time to take a block or your sturdy box if you've got one. Maybe you walk the left foot in a little bit closer, grabbing onto the block. Inhale, send the left leg high. Left foot is flexed. Maybe from the left arm to the ceiling, keeping hips stacked on top of one another. Try not to get distracted by the sounds of motorbikes in the distance. <laughs> Knowing if you do fall, if you do wobble, laugh at yourself. Life is too short not to. So reaching, reaching, reaching. Thinking about how we're born knowing how to play. And we unlearn that skill as we get old. So make this playful. Tap into this instinct. One more breath here. Exhale. Come into standing slits. Top of the mat. Maybe you stay here, maybe you lower down, come back to a high plank. Maybe you take a playful hop, sending the right leg back, three-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job, yogis. I hope you're sweating like I am, or at least a little bit. Your next inhale. Fill the lungs, exhale, tongue out, lion's breath. Roar like a lion. One more inhale, fill the lungs. Exhale, tongue out, roar. Nice job. Inhale, left leg goes high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, rise up to your standing split. Maybe you stay here, maybe you bring the left arm behind the left ankle. Maybe you go for both arms. Keeping the right leg lifted, toes pointing towards the ground, core engaged, belly pulling in. Return the hands to the mat. Step back into your high lunge. Inhale, reaches up. Legs are strong, core engaged. Exhale, open up to the side of the rim. Inhale, exult the high lunge. Reach up with the right arm. Exhale, open up, warrior two. So really reaching to the front and back of the room with the arms. 
Left knee is at a 90 degree angle, directly above the ankle. Interlace the fingers behind you. So there's a dominant way that you always interlace your hands. The knees go for the opposite way. Straighten the arms if you can, opening up the chest, looking to the top of the rib. Noticing how just switching that handshake kind of change everything in your head. And then laugh at yourself if such a little thing can disrupt your practice. Now overcoming that, start to hinge at the hips, pull your heart forward to the top of the room, humble warrior. So allow your head to grow heavy, lower body staying exactly where it is, heart pulls forward to the top of the ribcage. Keeping that pelvic floor, that mula bandha, engaged and active to support your lower, to support your weight with the lower body. Fingers still reaching up. See how your fingers can grow heavy, open up the expansion through the chest. One more breath here. Exhale, release the hands. Walk it over, wide legged forward fold on the opposite side. Exhale, fold it forward, let your head grow heavy. Heart relaxes. Maybe you're staying onto your fingertips, just reaching where you can, that's fine. Maybe your hands are pulling backwards. Maybe you can bring your hands just in line with your feet. Maybe your forehead or your top of your head touches the mat. If you're comfortable here, you can stay here. Make sure that you can see the top of your fingers, however, if you go for the headstand. So find your drishti point, that place to fix your gaze. Shift your weight onto the top of the head. Elbows pull in towards one another. <laughs> Laughing at yourself a little bit. Returning back to center. Walk yourself to the top of the mat. Return to that standing foot. Right leg, nice, high and strong. Exhale, lower it back down. That's not where we're going. Then open up to the side ankle stretch. Right arm reaches to the top of the rim. Maybe your left arm is pushing into the left leg or left elbow on top of the left knee. Reach a little farther, a little stronger. And bring your right hand to the top of the right hip. Left arm reaches forward. Time to grab that block if you've got it. Bring the feet in. Slightly close together, then inhale, flex the right foot. Keep stack the hips on top of one another. Maybe you stay here, maybe you wobble, maybe you laugh a little. Maybe you extend the right arm high to the sky. Maybe your gaze travels to meet that right hand. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe you just stay where you are for a few deep breaths, knowing that. We grow old because we forget how to play. It's not that we forget how to play because we grow old. So being a little playful here, laugh at yourself. Exhale, return the hands to the mat, standing splits. Maybe you stay here, maybe you walk back to your high plane. Maybe you jump, take a three-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. It's all take a child's pose. Ah, so a few recovery breaths here. Doing what you need. Ah, centering the breath, centering the balance. Inside the mind, as well as through both sides of the body. When you're ready, slowly rising up. Come to a seated position. So straightening the legs in front of you. Shift the weight from side to side. Sitting nice and strong. So seat bones are pushing into the ground. Legs are flexed. Feet are flexed. Legs are strong. Inhale, reaches up. Keeping a straight, flat back. How can you hinge at the hips? Reach your heart forward to the top of the rim. Ah, nice job. When you've reached as far as you can, it's where you can then allow your spine to curve, trying to get your forehead towards your shins. So rather than reaching for your toes, see how you can encourage your heart to come forward and try and kiss your toes. 
knowing that that movement, that lifting of the heart, will help you get a little bit deeper than reaching with the hands. Inhale, rise it up. Maybe bend the legs, allow the soles of the feet to touch one another, coming into your butterfly. So sitting up tall, pulling your heart forward, push your elbows into the inside of the thighs. Pushing your thumbs into the arches of your feet, how can you use that connection between arms and legs to go a little deeper? Take a few deep breaths here. Maybe gaze at your toes. Maybe massage the inside of the feet with the thumbs. Giving your feet a little bit of love and attention. Loving every part of your body. Exhale, release. Straighten the legs in front of you. Give them a little wobble. And then using your core, start to lower down slowly to the ground with control. <sighs> Tuck the shoulder blades in and meet the rib cage to open up the heart. Maybe bend the knees, allow the soles of the feet to connect to the ground. Making sure your heels and your bum are as close towards one another as they can get. Seeing if you can tickle the backs of the heels with the with the fingers, setting up the bridge pose. So keeping your gaze towards the sky. Your next inhale, push your heels to the ground, raise your hips towards the ceiling. If you bring your shoulder blades in underneath, you should lift a little higher. Maybe you interlace the fingers behind you to send the hips towards the sky. Bringing your chest towards your chin. Inhale, lift a little higher, keep the knees hip width distance. Exhale, lower down slowly with control. Maybe rock the knees side to side. Windscreen wiping, windshield wiping, depending on which part of the world you live in. Coming back to center, heels towards the thumb, raise up. Lift higher than you did before. Interlace the fingers behind you. Straighten the arms to really create an opening through the chest. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you lift the right leg to the sky. Exhale, lower it back down. Keep your hips level where they are. Inhale, left leg high to the sky. You got this. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift a little bit higher. Exhale, release the hands. Lower back down towards the ground. Rock the legs side to side. Nice job here. All right, one more time. So maybe you take bridge pose exactly as we did before. If wheel is in your practice, this is an option as well. So you can take your hands by your head, fingers facing towards the top of the mat, elbows pushing in towards one another. Keeping the feet exactly where they are, and the inhale, push into the ground, raise the heart towards the sky. Maybe you come onto the tops of the toes, encourage your heart to come to the top of the room, or the back of the room rather. Inhale, lift a little higher, core engage. Exhale, lower it down, chin to chest. Woo. Allow the knees to knock together, feet as wide as the mat. You center the spine. Nice job here. So stay laying where you are. I just want to show you something before we travel into our headstands, or sorry, shoulder stand. So in shoulder stand, many of us can feel a little bit of pain in the back of the neck. What you need to do here is pull the chin in towards the neck. So it's almost like you're giving yourself a double chin. But that motion of pulling the chin in towards the neck secures the back of the top vertebrae in the cervical spine. So keeping that motion here, chin pulling in, giving yourself a double chin. Don't worry, no one's looking. Send your legs up the wall. So straight legs towards the sky, just as we did when we started out the practice. Notice how maybe you feel a little bit more open, a little stronger here than you did before. Celebrate this change. Have a little bit of play. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you pull that chin towards the neck. Send your heels towards the ceiling. Just keep your gaze towards the sky, reaching up to your shoulders. 
So toes really, really, really trying to touch the ceiling, belly pulling in, elbows close towards one another, tummy pulling in a straight line from your shoulders to your toes. More inhale here, exhale, allow the toes to travel to the back of the room. See if it can touch the ground behind the head. In your halasana or cloud pose. If your toes reach behind your head, you can straighten your arms. Take a few relaxing breaths here. If your toes don't touch, keep supporting the back of the body and allow the legs to be happy wherever they are. Now, if you're in that full cloud pose, you can bend the knees, allow the knees to fall either side of the head. One more deep breath here. Exhale, unravel the body, allow the legs to fall to the front of the mat. Whew. So one more counter twist here. So you're bringing your hands underneath your sacrum, face down, coming into fish pose. So keeping the toes pointing towards the top of the mat. Inhale, bring the elbows underneath the body. Open up the chest, bring the gaze to the back of the room, almost like the top of the head can touch the ground. So really pushing into the ground here with the elbows. Opening up the heart, push the tongue to the roof of the, of the mouth. One more breath here. Exhale, release. Lie it down, arms out and wide. Now just a few final movements here. Hug the knees in nice and tight towards the chest. Rock from side to side. Now allow the soles of the feet to meet. Take the two big peace fingers, wrap them around the big toes, send the heels towards the sky. Your happy baby pose. So it's really like your knees are trying to travel towards your armpits. Heels are pushing into the ceiling. Maybe you rock a little side to side, making sure that your tailbone is pulling down towards the ground. So you're really keeping that sacrum connected to the floor, even when you rock. And allow the knees to fall together, hug it in, and then let the legs fall to the right, arms open up to a T, gaze to the left. Exhale, relax here. Allow your shoulders to stay connected to the ground, making sure that the twist happens through the upper body rather than through the hips. Allow your breath to become a little more natural, Your next inhale, bring your legs in nice and tight, rock it side to side, walking your sacrum to the top of the mat, creating more space. Exhale, allow the knees, knees to fall to the left, gaze to the right, arms at a T. Few relaxing breaths here. Inhale, come back to center. Final squeeze, hug, hug, hug it all in. Be as tight as you can, bring your chest towards your chin, squeeze the face, squeeze the toes, squeeze the fingers, squeeze the organs. One more deep, 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 deep breath. Exhale, let it all go. Come to your Shavasana, your final resting pose. So bringing the shoulder blades underneath the rib cage to lift the heart. Feet fall open, fall wide, hands to sky. Allow everything to relax. Ignoring the outside sounds and the outside falling. For the next few minutes, make this moment just about right now. Bring your attention to everything internal. Pace of your breath as it slows. The way your belly feels like you can 
really relax now. And your heart is recovering. Relax the face. Let your jaw fall open. Relax the space between the eyes. Don't take this moment too seriously. Start to wiggle the fingers and the toes. Start to reach and expand in all directions, forward and back, lengthening through the body. Exhale, roll onto one side. Keeping the eyes shut. We center the balance. And then slowly rise up back to the seated position. So keeping your eyes shut, hands on the knees, or backs of the hands on the knees. Hands down if you need grounding. grounding. Hands up if you need opening. Center the heart by keeping your eyes shut here. I'm going to read you a little quote by Alan Watts that this is the real secret of life. To completely engage with what you are doing in the here and now. And instead of calling it work, call it play. Hands to heart center. Thumbs to third eye. Namaste. Thank you.